the last individual who tried to come in on my business. It took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chive? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewite won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. <laughs> I met you, man. Back there at Loch Marine. Locked. But it looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in.
Must be Zed. Find it? No. Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Tiana from the Scoia'tael deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. Ledger might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Zed had an ornery cat, but there's a hidden compartment under there. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Zed sold cards too. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Most is I serve the eternal fire. Give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. One cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. Believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Zed's. I'm certain he snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Ah, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Caesar Bilson. Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Ponta. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. 
At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card shop and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Ravi, who's he? A common card shop and a swindler. Ever since I gave him a smack. Sultan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside this townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. Got no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well... Good luck to you, Geralt. What village are you from? Willows. Oh. It's into my area too, those road cars. Look awfully suspicious to me, Trap. So, how'd it go with this evening? I oh, was thinking about one of the open trees when suddenly up he was and the deals went. There must be order. Ah, oh, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. It certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Provis. Said Caesar never sell Fringilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Chivi! Caesar Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pipes, King of the Ponta. Ah, uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does, say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah, cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. In the Ponta? You betcha! Can't listen to this Hogwash sober. Come in! So what, Fitzhanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh time and it tasted like time flavor shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this time. Get out! Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Like shit. 
All right. Grab your rods. We're off to the ponds. Up. Can't let this drivel stand. Not in your home. Well, then. Did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need live bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Cair Moray? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> well, I've heard many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. You forget what happened last time. What about last time? Shouldn't he have yanked so hard you wouldn't have fallen in? It was the dwarves who popped Snow White's cherry. Fuck sure. Honest too. open. Classic. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Shame I can't ask Triss about it. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Batier de Rideau's dagger. Ah, here's Fringilla. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. A set of Aramid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition.
Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. With a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to you, lads. Haven't you got all day? Can she bore you? Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Triss is no longer around. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. Flea-ridden mutant! Join us, please! Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stake. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? I got no use for Ravi. 
this witch is no fun. Come on! What's he doing here? Hard times we live in. Uh... Sultan. Ha! Seems we'll make it before the King of Beggars Buggers can get me. Come on. I arranged to meet the buyer at an old brewery. He'll be delighted to see we've got all the cars. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind. Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, girl. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my beer. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards get away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Stop walking into his sword. What? Can't understand a word. Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop.
Driving drowners? <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah. You can go. If you're able. Ha! What are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. So long. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I never managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the pontar. 